I've been working on this English walnut slab, just cleaning up the live edge, um, getting it ready for finish. But I found really helpful. It took me uh, quite a few tries to figure out what works really well. And that's for cleaning up this live edge. Uh, so a lot of times you might have a burlier live edge that's got a little, a lot of nooks and crannies that you can't really get in there with. And so when I first started live edge furniture, I would just grab 60 or 80 grit and just start sanding away, just like that. And it did okay. Um, my arm got really tired uh, really fast. And I started to notice that, yes, it would get the bark off, um, but it would, you would take away the character that a lot of people like of the live edge. And so some people mentioned a flap disc like this. So you can buy these um, at a lot of woodworking stores. Um, and so you put it in your drill like this. And you just come along and you clean up the live edge like that. That did okay, uh, but the sandpaper would wear out really fast if you're doing a lot of live edge, and it would take forever, especially if you had like a 100 grit, 120 grit, okay? And so I wasn't really happy with uh, these types of, uh, that tool cleaning up the live edge. So then I went to my hardware store and I found something like this, some nylon brush, uh, for the drill like that. So then I would try that and I'll come along and do that. And that did okay, except for when you're sanding a quarter of an inch on a huge live edge, that's going to take a long time. And it didn't have a nice consistent um, brush mark to the live edge. And so then I thought, okay, well maybe I just need more of these, right? These weren't the answer. I came across a product and I bought this myself. I saw someone else using it in their wood shop. I thought it worked pretty good for them. I thought it worked pretty well for them. Anyways, it's called Nylox. Nylox. I don't know if you can get a close up like that. Anyways, you can find this at your local hardware store. I found this at Ace just down the road. Anyways, it's like the nylon brush here, but it's quite a bit wider. But what I like about it is most people have impact drivers. They go at a higher RPM than your normal drill. That's going at a lot higher RPM than your typical cordless drill at high speed. Okay? And so you can put these in the impact driver because they have the adapter right there okay so now you're at a high rpm you're at a wider um, brush stroke and so once you come close here and you can see how much of this live edge will come off that's what five seconds Let's say you got, you want to go around these really interesting features of the live edge. These brushes will get in there without you having to get your fingers all sanded off trying to get those clean. You might have to turn it a little bit. Until your drill dies, which it just did. But that's right. So you can see 
how much that cleared up that live edge that preserved that really interesting character of this uh, English walnut slab. And it didn't take very long and your hand's not tired. So I just uh, was sanding this and I thought, man, I should really share this with everyone. Cause I've, this is like two, three years of me trial and error, trying to figure out a tool that works really well. Um, the one thing that might happen is when you're using it, and you're putting a lot of force on it, these might come out. These little brushes, they might come out. And that happened to me a couple times. Um, all you need to do is when they come out, you just pop them back in and just put a little epoxy in there and they aren't gonna come out at all. Um, I know they have these in three different grits. This is 80 grit. They also have an orange one that's 120 grit and a blue one that's 240 grit. And so what I've been doing is just using this as the main, getting the main um, bark off of the live edge. And then I'll take all these higher grit ones and just clean it up. Or you could even just take a higher grit sandpaper. Um, but anyways, these are like 12 bucks and they work really good. They work really fast. So anyways, I hope that helps someone out there working on some live edge furniture. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.